Okay, to do my sketch digitally, I'm just going to use the defaults, black on white. I'm just going to make a new layer. It's easier to erase. I'm just going to use the brush tool at pressure sensitive at about the default size, which is 15 pixels for this size. That works great. This is my sketchbook page. The first thing I do is I write, or I, I first draw a vertical box and a horizontal box. As long as you have one sketch that you can work from, you're good. You've met the requirements. But to really uh, show how you can be versatile with your different composited ideas, I recommend doing it both ways. So we're going to do veggie land. That's the overall concept, but you need a specific time and place. So I'm going to make it a veggie jungle. And I want to think about foreground, middle ground, and background. So what's in the foreground of a jungle? How do you show that? I could even look up images of jungles and kind of see the ones that have three discernible layers of depth. But I'm going to want big trees. And I've already seen from some of the reference that maybe celery is a good option to search for for that. And then in the middle ground, I want mushrooms. Kind of boulders of truffles leading to a mushroom soup lake. Always good to put a body of water in the middle ground. If you have it in the foreground, you're just sitting in water, looking where you are. And if you put it way in the background, you're not even going to know what it is. Right? So then in the far background, I'm going to have kind of broccoli hills. And then I might have a beet sun in the sky. B-E-E-T. So you also want to think of a time of day. This has to do with the lighting. Is it noon? You know, is there bright sun on everything? Or is it angled sun, really atmospheric? And so if I'm going to show the beat in the sky, I'm thinking it's going to be sunrise. It's going to be veggie land jungle at sunrise. And that should give me enough to get started. So I don't need to search all of this stuff. I know there's broccoli. And that can be used to make the hills in the background. I know there's celery that could be used for trees. I'm a little worried about how much green there is. But remember, this is collage with benefits. So I can always alter the colors in little ways. Or I can throw some rainbow chart in there. And if I have that idea, I might as well write it down. Maybe that rainbow chart can give some color and texture to the foreground. And of course, we can alter colors as we need. So what are these foreground big trees going to look like? Well, I want them to be tall, but they're going to be coming from the corners. You know, like that. Maybe that's a little claustrophobic, so maybe I erase that <laughs> and just come from one corner. So I have more room for my middle ground. And then I'm just going to make a little indication on my sketch that this is the foreground and it's going to be celery. Okay. And then back here, I'm going to have the boulders, mushroom boulders to a lake. I'm just going to sloppily put middle ground, mushroom. And then we have the broccoli hills. This is the background, and it's broccoli. Middle ground, mushroom, background, broccoli, foreground, fennel. I can use fennel for the foreground. Thank you, Olivia. All right. Now, I'm going to do some cabbage leaves in the sky. This might change, but this is my idea. Cabbage leaf sky for some clouds, and then a nice big beat for the sun. That's already over five elements, right? Even if I could find just the perfect photo of mushroom, perfect photo of broccoli, perfect photo of celery or fennel. Okay, now I'm going to sketch it horizontally to show you how versatile even these same references, same ideas can be. So what if I put the celery and fennel, fennel will look more like grass, you know, off to this corner here. Maybe reaching and cropping off the top even. So that becomes my foreground. 
And then my mushrooms, I have boulders, truffle boulders. My mushroom lake is right here, pretty low, so I'll have a lower horizon. Then my broccoli hills are back here, so this is middle ground. Broccoli hills onto the horizon, that's my background. Cabbage leaf sky. Cabbage. And my big deep for the sunrise. All right, and that will get me started. If there's anything missing from here that I don't want to forget, I might make note of it. That's why I have the little space around my sketch. Do not fill a page with your sketch because it gives you very little room to make notes or to crop it or to change it later. So mushroom boulders. Next class, what you're going to do if you sketch not digitally, but you just sketch with pencil and paper, not lined paper, which I recommend, you'll just take a picture of this with your phone and then just at low resolution, bring it into your computer. You can email it to yourself. And we are then going to build on top of this and then start bringing our reference in. So these chanterelles might be the border of this mushroom soup swamp that lead into the broccoli hills. So I'm going to start downloading this stuff and putting it into folders. And with that sketch, make sure I save it. I am good to go for next class. So you need not just your sketch, but you need to start collecting references. Put them on your thumb drive so you come in and you're not going to spend all class searching for that that right element. All right, that'll do it.